Hello dear traders, Petr Cimic here from Vikefanalysis.com. Um, I found a very, very good opportunity in Australian dollar, US dollar, according to the Vico principle. And this is a my bread and butter trade. Um, I will explain more uh, in more details in this video the reason um, the reasons why I'm expecting higher price on this currency pair. So, as you know, um, basically the Vico have the key key principles uh, one of um, these key principles is a cause and effect when we speak about the cause uh, we generally uh, speak about the base base patterns about the horizontal basis most of the time and we speak about the potential accumulation phases and potential distribution phase potential reaccumulation and redistribution in this example this is a classic potential accumulation phase according to shorter perspective. So after the some downward movement in the background, uh, price actually went 250 pips uh, lower from the high at this point, I found the sideways and forming of the base. So you see that we have one day, two days, three, four days, this is a fifth day and we got the breakout, it's fifth day. So about, about five day, five days base uh, in this um, particular example. I found the preliminary uh, support at this point here, 07500. Uh, there is also climatic action there, so this is also climax and preliminary uh, support. Um, there is also some climatic actions at this point here, at this point here, uh, and we got the automatic rally. So automatic rally after the price dropped to this stage, we got the automatic rally. Um, then price went to another lower leg. Uh, we created the secondary test uh, here. Uh, we got also, we tested this few times. As you see here, we got secondary test at this point here as well. Price went higher for the area where it's automatic rally. And we started to, so basically from this point, this phase A is stopping action. We can call this stopping action. The point B basically is um, all this. So the point B is basically the we got point A, the stopping action. The price stopped to go lower um, from this point here. Then we got a sideways. That is a that is a B. We got sideways, and then we got um, uh, our C and a sign of strength and last point of support and. Um, you know, sign of strength, and then the t retesting of this, that point, um, the, the phase um, D, and we expect phase A, um, phase E, pardon, effect um, right now, so in the next period. Uh, key, key point here, we also got a spring here, so price broke this swing low, and then back here into the trading range, and then we successfully, uh, su uh, we did secondary test and again price held this area of 07455 uh, so which confirmed this spring pretty much we got a higher swing low higher swing low higher swing low so we starting to see the strength here and what's the crucial part here is um, this sign of strength here which happened on the Asia session this is a very very good um, sign of strength and this is also jump across creek creek is this uh let's say resistance you see this line here this is a creek and we got jump across the creek sign of strength and then price back lower 25 pips to test this uh, which is also normal to test this creek and test this resistance uh which is the um this area of 0 0.7 uh, 510 so we got successful test there I will you see the volume there so you see the volume below the average basically they're there on the test so there is no big supply there um, so this is a classic building of the accumulation and transition from bearish to bullish uh, the group, the syndicate group of traders, maybe the banks also, they define the trading ranges. I spoke this about this in my webinar 
why the training ranges are so important, why I focus a lot on, on them on this horizontal basis. Um, so why they do is they define um, the resistance and support. They define the trading range. They protect very well. Once they are ready to to penetrate to this uh, trading trading range, you must see that in the price section and in the volume. So then there comes a part about the volume and the price action. So what is uh, why is that? Because if there is no power to for the breakout, if there is no real price action and real, no real activity there behind uh, uh, this sign of strength, there is that then that, that means that it will it's not ready and it can also go back into the trading range and define more days in you know uh, um, so if there is no volume and there is no price action activity it is a very risky to trade and think that this is accumulation the effect with the effect phase will be for example right now but and it's like Vykov did he never traded for example trying to pick bottoms of the trading range or to try to trade on spring because you never know uh, this can be another, for example, spring and price can create an, another base here and form a larger base or so on and so on. But when you establish positions is basically when you see the strong sign of strength in this example, like accumulation or strong sign of weakness in, uh, if we speak about the distribution phase. Since we speak about the accumulation phase, um, I will write here accumulation phase. So this is an accumulation phase we speak. We need to see the sign of strength uh, before we establish any position. So I need to see sign of strength. That I'm sure that the, that uh, some serious money here, they they bet on the stronger Australian, so I want to ride with them, okay? When this happened, like uh, I, I saw the Australian dollar, I want to ride with them, okay? I put stop loss all the way below this, 60 70 pips if it's need if it's needed because it's always better in my opinion than to try to playing with knife here and try to for example put the tight stop loss just to catch the larger risk uh, to a larger reward i always prefer to put even if it's needed all the way lower even below the spring but this is also enough at this point here so all the way here because the price can also go and we visit the middle of the training range or to test the 50 or 61.8 so because there is a always chance for that even right now it looks like it, it won't go there anyway i want to put the the to be to put the safe stop loss so i can absolutely know uh, i don't need to worry about uh, you know the price will go 20 20 30 40 pips in correction before it's if it's continue higher Okay, so uh, again, this trading range is about five days. This base, this is a very, very solid short-term base, and basically, I calculated the, the this base. So every cause, cause is this uh, trading range. Every cause got the effect uh, depend of the size of this cause. So that, that there comes a part about. Uh, calculating the cos and I use the pointed figure charting um, as like um, uh, the Vykov also did he used a lot uh, pointed figure chart I calculate this base basically and the projection for this base is about 450 pips 450 pips is projection from this current base this accumulation but you must calculate the base from this spring so 400 uh, I put I did put line here, 450 pips is calculation for this base. And this is the area of 0 0.7, uh, 880 level, approx that point. It's around 430, so even higher. So it's even like uh, 0 uh, 0.7, uh, 900 level. But my target, which I will put right now, is I will put uh, like 20 pips lower like this okay so look at the risk reward ratio in my setup look at this so I'm risking like 60 pips 65 
and I'm going to take I'm trying to take 350 pips on this one so this is what you want so this kind of setups you really like when you um, when you projected with a projected effect and when you projected the fact and you you got a lot of uh, very very strong risk reward ratio even if you put all the way below the spring you still have a very strong ratio okay so um, this setup again uh, is the, the the setup I really 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 um, I really really like yeah one thing more the this breakout um, I I watch closely on all other markets uh, which is um, integrated with Australian dollar to see if this breakout is really a valid breakout and is, this is a really sign of strength so um, what what I mean by that for example I have on my second screen here I have the futures future chart okay of the Australian dollar US dollar and you will see on the lower frames like this is a five minute time frame you will see this massive demand which came in uh, in this on the breakout so this is what I really really like um, as well when I see the confirmation on other markets as well um, like on the futures market uh, for example if you notice this very very strong demand uh, we got the 4.4k contracts traded here and the average was 344 this is a massive this is a very very massive um, increasing in volume on the breakout also the futures market and this is a sign for me that um, I'm pretty pretty um, confident in this setup and pretty much I, I took the 2% risk in this example and um, I will try in the next um, five to ten days to to catch my 350 pips potential here and try to take um, almost one to it's about one to six risk reward ratio actually one to six so I'm aiming for 12 percent risking two percent okay so this is how you want to trade and this is what I teach my st students on my mentorship program and uh, there is a speak a lot of about my main technique which is Weikoff analysis and of course part of Weikoff analysis uh, is also the volume spread analysis but this is also one part of Weikoff analysis the great um, the, the key thing is the Weikoff analysis the calculating um, finding the strong codes finding the trading ranges and then watch for um, the breakout see if there is a really strength there or weakness there is a really moment there is a really volume behind that or just uh, some speculative uh, price action without any uh, activity because you can see a lot of fake breakouts um, and you see even the volume on the tick volume is high but actually it is not in real uh, in reality there is no big sellers there so you must compare other markets and see how for example compare the futures market and also you can watch the goal and you can watch the um, of course uh, you can watch um, other markets like New Zealand you can watch the, new, um, the news is to see the, is there any news effect behind this or you know everything which can bring you the more information so you can uh, create a picture and understand the price action behavior here um, so again um, this kind of setups I really don't go for any less than one to three ratio so if I'm risking like 60 pips I really really need to um, to go for at least 180 pips but in this example I'm aiming for much more I'm aiming for one to six risk reward ratio since I found that this base the projection of this cause um, is about uh, um, 450 pips but calculating from the low I got about 300 pips for me since I bought here of course but when you calculate the base and so on which I teach you on my mentorship program how to, how to properly calculate base 
uh, and project the targets not just on the forex you can do that on, for, for any market if you trade futures if you trade whatever there is a chart um, you can use the, you can calculate the codes and um, calculate the effect of the codes and this and you got a really, really big picture about what is what you aiming for um, also one interesting thing here is there is a swing high here so basically when the price if the price go there and reach this uh, I will watch closely this level anyway and I will probably uh, actually I will secure position for sure at this stage here when the price reach this area I will secure my stop um, uh, my my position and also I may go to trailing stop at that, this point here and then trail all the way to my final target at 0 0.7900 area okay so I'm back here okay so this is a uh, my analysis about Australian dollar it's still very very good time if you want to enter and um, of course if you like the video and if you um, if you want if you want to follow my work you can subscribe on my youtube channel feel free to comment there it really means uh, a lot to me i really like uh, comments positive feedbacks from the trader so feel free to comment um, and um, also follow me i work on the, um, my trader for x factory dart trade by better serbia also um, you can of course go to my website um, go to the bike and um, there you can also find my previous work and you can find there um, more about my mentorship program and uh, you know also you can subscribe there wish you a good trading I hope this will uh, work good in the future and that we see our projected target uh, in the near future wish you a good trading and have a nice day